So we got a sort of a reasonable sized green turtle came in last week and it had a history of being entangled in what we think was fishing line, perhaps with a crab pot caught up in that fishing line, wrapped around one of its front flippers. Um, and unfortunately the injury was really quite severe. The fishing line had been cutting into the animal's flipper and has actually basically cut the soft tissue of the flipper all the way down to the bone. So a very deep, nasty injury. So the animal came to us having already received preliminary first aid treatment and an assessment by the referring vet, which was fantastic. So it had already received that, uh, you know, very appropriate first aid treatment. What we did on arrival really was just to assess um, you know, how severe the injury was and to make a plan going forward for how we can best help the animal. And of course, to continue on, the most important thing is uh, pain relief for the animal. Obviously, an injury like that's going to be um, quite painful. So we were really pleased at how well the turtle recovered from its injuries. They were pretty substantial injuries to start with, but like the rate of healing was amazing. We were really thrilled. Because the turtle recovered so well and it was able to really use that flipper quite normally, we were really thrilled to be able to release it back to the wild. So very happy with the healing process and it's a really great outcome to have it back out there in the ocean. So the turtles, when we release them, um, if they're suitable, we put uh, trackers on them attached to their shell. And the reason for doing that is we want to know what happens to these animals after we release them. We want to make sure that um, you know they, they survive and they're doing really, really well. And we get to work out w where it is they go from here. So it's a very valuable source of information for us um, moving forward and helps us to determine you know where's a safe place to release turtles and you know gives us information on what what happens to them out in the wild. So the trackers that are attached to the turtles, they're there only for a very limited period of time. Uh, turtles naturally will shed the outer layer of the top of their shell and when that happens the tracker will come off. So it's not there for the life of the turtle, it gives us just a little window in time uh, information but so valuable. So for the turtle to be released, um, it went out on, on the boat with the water police and then it was able to be like literally put back into the ocean off the back of the boat. So that was a fantastic outcome. An added great bonus on that day, we had another turtle that had been in care that came in with quite nasty skin lesions. That animal also recovered really well and so we were able to release that one off the boat on the same day. So that was like a double whammy, it was really, really good. So uh, a lot of the turtles we get coming into care are affected by marine debris, stuff that we leave lying around that ends up in the ocean. And we want to prevent um, those sorts of things from affecting our marine wildlife. So the best thing that you can do to help is to really make sure if you're enjoying a day out on the ocean that you take all your rubbish with you, pick up anything else that you see floating around and that's really going to make a difference for our marine wildlife.